Hi everyone, in this video we'll see a distro review about Artix Linux. Artix Linux is a very particular Linux distribution because it doesn't use systemd as init system, but it uses other alternatives way to boot the services. If you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment below with a secret word that I will say during the video. It uh, helps me a lot with the algorithm of YouTube. So let's start. This is the uh, website of uh, Artix Linux. And uh, as you can uh, read, it is a rolling release. So it is uh, continuously updated and it's based on Arch Linux. And uh, it also uh, support uh, three kind of init system, uh, OpenRC, Runit and uh, S6. Uh, if you go to the um, download in uh, here, you can find uh, all the kind of uh, combination on, of uh, this uh, Linux distribution. So you have uh, Artix Base, which is uh, the uh, normal operating system without uh, any uh, desktop environment. Then you have uh, Cinnamon with uh, OpenRC, Runit S S6, uh, Community GTK, Community Qt, and all the kind of uh, combinations. Uh, LXDE, LXQt, the newer uh, version of this desktop environment. Mate, Plasma KDE, and Xface. So uh, you have uh, uh, a really uh, a great choice uh, of the combination uh, to use this kind of uh, Linux distribution. Uh, usually I test this Linux dis distribution inside a virtual machine with the ISO, but uh, in this case I already installed it in GNOME boxes. And uh, so we'll see uh, an installed system because it's very interesting. And it also uh, is very particular because uh, they don't use uh, Chromium or Firefox as a default browser, but they use uh, Falcon, which is uh, an interested project. It's like uh, an alternative uh, to Safari for Linux. So this is the uh, login screen. And uh, let's go inside okay and this is uh, an animation about uh, artix and uh, yeah we are ready to uh, test this linux di linux distribution so the first command i run is uh, htop which uh, i already installed uh, just to test the uh, RAM memory consumption and uh, in this situation is uh, 375 megabytes and uh, the full capacity of RAM is uh, uh, 2 gigabyte and uh, it isn't bad to uh, run a full KDE desktop environment. So this was the RAM and uh, we also uh, see what is uh, installed by default. It's uh, a quite empty Linux uh, distribution. So you have to install the programs uh, you need. Uh, so we have uh, uh, GUMBU, Ocular, Screen Grab. And uh, inside the internet, uh, we just have Falcon by default. I installed uh, Chromium because uh, We'll see a very interesting uh, test about uh, those uh, browsers. Under multimedia, we have uh, uh, MPV Media Player and uh, under Office, uh, just uh, Ocular, the viewer of the KDE. This is uh, uh, KDE. Uh, I installed the KDE uh, via the ISO image and then I update it uh, with the Pacman command. And um, yeah, the default uh, version of KDE was uh, KDE uh, 5.17 and after the update uh, I have KDE 5.18.2. Uh, 
but uh, it's a rolling release so it uh, will update uh, uh, when uh, we uh, find a newer version of it so this is uh, just the uh, standard um, KDE desktop environment and uh, yeah let's continue to, to see what is installed under system uh, we don't have a particular software we have a dolphin the default KDE uh, browser and the uh, cases guard to uh, monitor the uh, resources with KDE under uh, utilities uh, we have uh, those uh, software and yeah that's it it's a quite empty Linux distribution so you can install just what you care about your operating system so this is the interesting part so uh, this is Falcon which is uh, a not very much known web browser so let's try uh, a website so let's try cnn.com and uh, this browser uh, isn't uh, Firefox or Chromium, it's something like uh, a Safari web browser for, li for Linux. Uh, it uses the uh, WebKit uh, as a rendering engine and uh, as you can see uh, it's based on WebKit and Qt, WebKit, Qt web engine especially. And uh, yeah, it, it works uh, very well, this browser. And uh, we also can test the html5test.com. So my internet connection isn't uh, very fast. So we need uh, uh, to wait uh, for a while. Okay, this is uh, the first score. It's uh, 475 points of uh, 550, 50, 55, sorry. And uh, um, it is seen as a Chrome 80, but uh, it isn't uh, Chrome 80, it's, it's WebKit. So this is uh, the CNN website, just uh, to, to test, okay. And uh, it's interesting to do the same test with uh, Chromium. So let's do it because uh, we get uh, different uh, results. So cnn.com and uh, here html5.com, html5test.com. So here let's do full screen okay we don't have it anymore so this is the cnn website full screen and this is the result of html5.com and it's it's very interesting that the google browser get a lower score in this test 471 with the Chrome 83 and this is correct and uh, so we get uh, uh, more feature in this uh, uh, not very much known browser and uh, these are the details but uh, I didn't go in deep to find uh, uh, why uh, <laughs> this browser get uh, higher scores so this is uh, all the features and uh, this is uh, the same uh, in uh, Chrome, Chromium. Okay, a small note that I forgot to mention is how to see that we aren't running systemd and you can check it with the RC status and here are the uh, software that are running in the background the services so we have the bus network manager netmount xdm which is the login screen bluetooth crony and that's it so it's a very simple setup if you don't want a systemd linux distribution and as you can see it's very fast and efficient to to start so just a small note about this Linux distribution. So 
this is uh, Artix Linux. Just a, a small note because um, I'm not uh, an Arch Linux user because I prefer for a, for a little uh, Ubuntu based LTS distribution just because they need less maintenance, less maintenance. But uh, I really like this distribution because uh, it's very uh, basic and uh, you can have uh, a um, system which is always up to date. So if you like uh, frequent software updates, uh, I think uh, this is uh, an easier way to have uh, an Arch like uh, Linux distro without much effort. And uh, just a small note, uh, which uh, isn't very specific to Artix Linux, uh, is uh, this one. Usually on Arch Linux, uh, you use uh, this command uh, pacman-syu uh, to update the system. Uh, I tried, but uh, it didn't work. I had uh, this kind of uh, error. Uh, so I rerun again this command with uh, this argument uh, override uh, etc and uh, it worked without any problems so um, I think uh, uh, it, it's okay to run uh, this kind of uh, rolling uh, Linux distribution uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you have to uh, pay attention to these uh, details uh, and uh, it's a little bit different because in Debian based Linux distros, uh, usually I run uh, apt dist upgrade uh, without uh, any uh, other uh, arguments or weird things. But uh, apart uh, these small details, uh, I think it's a really great uh, distro to, to test. And uh, I will continue to look forward uh, the evolution of the, this uh, distro. So uh, tell me what you think about uh, this Linux distro if you tried and uh, if you want to support my channel please uh, give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment with this object. I know it's weird but it helps a lot with YouTube and see you in another video. Bye!